Well, ladies and gentlemen, I made a video about Red Sonia uh, a long time ago, actually, when they first announced the casting of Matilda Lutz. And I know a lot of people were celebrating the casting because this was this was a time where literally every character uh, was being race swapped. There was multiple different race swaps happening, especially to red haired characters, ginger characters. They were being race swapped to black characters. So when they saw Matilda Lutz get hired, everybody celebrated. Everybody was happy. Now we realize, just like I said before, don't trust a wolf in the sheep's clothing because it's very clear, ladies and gentlemen, that Matilda Lutz is 100% on the side of the lunatics that have been doing all of this in the first place. What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of your women. We have an article here from Bounding Into Comics with a headline that reads Red Sonya star Matilda Lutz slams source material for being made with a very male gazed orientation and says new film is very women empowered. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, anytime you get characters like this, I mean, look at this. Anytime you get amazing characters like this, real women characters, and they get their hands on the modern audience, it's it's never going to be what you think it should be. So let's get into this article, guys, from Bounding Into Comics. But of course, before we do, if you are new, here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that youtube algorithm so it says according to its star matilda lutz the upcoming red sonia film will be seeking to abandon the male gaze orientation of the heroine's previous and original adventures in favor of the narrative that is overall very woman empowered now i don't know why they want to change these characters when they are very they are very feminine okay number one and number two they're still badass they could be feminine and still be badass that's a combination that unfortunately is lost on the modern audience or, or most of the modern audience i should say they look at characters like this and they don't just they can't imagine in their mind how badass they could be like they have to look like a man they have to act like a man they have to basically be a man in order to be badass that's how they feel in their mind they don't they don't want to make characters like this because they feel like it's for men but let's be real how many people who are uh, read comic books are women it's majority men at the end of the day. So yes, statistically speaking, that would be the way to go if you're trying to sell the most books. But let's be real, these people don't care about making money. This is not about money. This is not about selling the most books. This is about selling some books while putting out the most message they can with those books. It says Lutz, who audiences may best known for her starring roles in 2017's Revenge and 2021's Zone 414, offer this insight into the chainmail bikini-clad warrior's next cinematic outing while speaking to CBR's Tessa Smith ahead of the South by Southwest premiere of her new film, Magpie. Now, again, really fast, these characters, I'm, I'm going to make a prediction, okay? And you guys could tell me if I'm accurate a couple months from now or however long it takes for this movie to come out, if it ever does. When Red Sonja comes out, right, this right here not happening. None of this is happening. This entire outfit you see right here, I'm going to highly doubt that it happens. And if it does, I will be very, very shocked. It probably will be a toned down version of it, but I'm going to assume she's going to be in full body armor. There's no way in hell they're going to make her do a bikini clad. There's just no way. I, I don't see it happening at all. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just not possible. They're going to put her in complete armor. They're going to suit her up and try to make her as manly as possible. Uh, this whole feminine looking armor, not happening. This is just my prediction. Again, uh, I could be wrong, but I just don't think I'm going to be. And then, of course, obviously, she's speaking to CBR, number one, big problem, and Tessa Smith, which I've done plenty of videos on Tessa Smith in the past with CBR, big problem, number two. So, yeah, this all makes sense. It says, pressed by Smith for any and all information she could tease about the film, the actress asserted, so what I could tell you about Red Sonja is that the first ones and the comics were made with a very male gaze orientation. This is a completely different story, and it's very woman-empowered, which I love about the script. So they're basically admitting to you right off the bat that the Red Sonja that you know in the comic books, yeah, you're not getting that in the movies, ladies and gentlemen. And this is why Western movies fail. This is why Western comics fail, because what ends up happening is the movies that are adapted from the original comic books are not the characters that people have grown up to love so they end up not wanting to watch it and then what happens is the comic books get replaced with the current movie version of the comic of the of the comic book character and then now people are not going to read it so now you got people not watching the movie you got people not not reading the comic books and that's it complete bomb just complete bomb all around nobody's interested and the characters killed off it says, unfortunately for fans of the crimson-haired heroine, this is not the first time that this next Red Sonja has thrown up such a red flag regarding its narrative. Speaking to Variety, in honor of her being ranked fifth on the 2023 entry of their annual 10 screenwriters to watch list, the film scribe, the Witcher Blood Origin writer Tasha Hewell. Now, again, 
Witcher Blood Origin writer. That is a huge red flag, ladies and gentlemen. Huge red flag. And I remember saying this in the video that I did about Red Sonja way back. I said the fact that the writer of the Witcher Blood Origin is going to be on Red Sonja, this is not going to be good, ladies and gentlemen. It is not going to be a good look for this character. This character is going to get woke as hell, guaranteed. And now you're seeing more examples of that. She teased that the Red Sonja will provide audiences with both stories of great female friendship, which means she's going to be a lesbian, as well as a glimpse into how women uniquely survive out into the world. It says, interestingly, despite the feminist bent to its story, Red Sonja producer Les Weldon told Collider that the film is also a little bit of, I don't want to say a darker take, but a little bit darker than you would expect, certainly compared to the original Red Sonja. But see, that's just not possible. That's not possible for modern audiences, okay? And, and I, I'm going to give you an example in this article, but hear me out. We have seen so many times when they say, oh, yeah, this is going to be a dark show. It's going to be so dark, you know, where we're, we're just borderline teetering on that M.A. rating, you know, like it's very, very, very dark. And then what happens? You end up getting a TV show like Echo, right? They said Echo was going to be dark. They get they gave Echo a terrible rating. Was Echo dark? Absolutely not. She shot Daredevil once with a shotgun. And that was it. That was the darkest thing in the entire show. So the idea these people have in their mind of something that's dark and gritty that's not real, okay? It's never real. They're completely making it up. It's all lies. They don't know what dark and gritty means. They just tell you that because they're hoping to attract the male viewer. They're using dark and gritty to attract the male viewer while changing the female character com completely into a lesbian feminist to attract the female viewer. They know what they're doing, even though ultimately it doesn't work out most of the time, but they still know what they're doing and who they're trying to target, at least in the modern day audience. Now, here's proof that they're not going to get dark because if they were going to get dark, if they were really going to get dark, Dark, they would show this, but they're not. It says, however, despite the film offering such a little bit darker take, its director MJ Bassett has confirmed that it will abandon perhaps one of the most harrowing elements of her 1985 silver screen adventure, which was her uh, her assault by a gang of bandits. I have no interest in fictional women who use the R word as an engine of motivation, the director told The Hollywood Reporter Scott Johnson in January 2023. It's not a strong motivation. She's just a human being in the world of femininity. Further, do details as of the Red Sonja's exact plot uh, currently remain under wraps, according to the summation of Bassett's words provided by Johnson, the film will be an allegory for more existential questions around the survival of the species in the face of climate change. Oh my God. So now we've gone full circle, ladies and gentlemen. We've gone the entire down the, the entire rabbit hole of feminism and leftism, right? So they went from female empowerment, we're changing her to a lesbian, we're changing her into all this stuff. We're going to make her into a strong, independent woman that needs no man, all this other nonsense. And then they circled all the way around and came back full circle to climate change, ladies and gentlemen. Yes climate change that's what they're going to make sonia about they're going to make red sonia about climate change my goodness this entire book might as well be called the guidebook to left-wing ideology and feminism because that's essentially what this is going to be and it's sad because red sonia seems like a great character again i'm not a fan of american comics but she seems pretty badass to me seems like a character i would like to read about and get to know but unfortunately it seems like that's going to go down the rabbit hole of feminism and i am completely not interested and i guarantee you there are so many people out there that feel the same so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.